Hi everybody, Carol's here. I'm going to do my last uh, feather uh, string pull that I wanted to do three. So I've done black with gold feather. I've done blue with a gold feather. And now I'm going to do gold background with a black and red feather, mostly red. So I'm just spreading my gold paint. I'm, this is something different. I haven't ever used gold as a background before, so see how this goes. Got to try new things sometimes. sides. Just put a little bit. And my paints are mixed as usual 50-50 with Floetrol. Alright, I'm going to get my one of my combs and spread it around. Try to even it out. Seems a little on the thick side today. So I'm gonna add a little bit more gold. Oops, that's too much water. Usually when I do the background, it'll even out when I take it with the comb, so. So this may be a bit too thick, so I'll just re-pour over it a little thinner paint. That should be good. better. Sometimes when paint sits, especially the metallics, they get a little thick as they sit. So I guess I should have checked before I poured it on my canvas. Anyway. It'll all dry. It'll smoothen out as it dries. All right. I think this is fine. <clears throat> all right. So I have my string cut just a little longer than where I want to put it. And sometimes I usually, actually, I take my string in my hand and I add some water to the string just to dampen it. And then it just kind of seems to lay better down after you've put it on the canvas. So I'm going to do red. 
soak my string in red. I need to get my gloves. And then I'll uh, do a red feather with a little bit of black highlights. So I'll do the red first. Soak it in there, good. Rub it against my stick as I pull it out a little bit. Just so there's not big globs of paint. I think I'll go this way this time. The black is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. The red is a Dollar Brownie called Bright, uh, Brilliant Red mixed with Floetrol. And the gold is Artist Loft mixed with Floetrol. Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. Okay, so that's probably been sitting enough. So I just pick up my string and I just gently pull. Collecting some paint there. Try not to let it overflow, I'll just pull it right off. interesting. I think I'll use the same string. I'll just wipe off the excess, put it back in my paint, soak it up again. This side. And some black paint to the other side. I was hoping for a bit more black to show, but I might have to do it a couple of times. Sometimes it's better to go over it again, but I did on my last pours, but my background paint was kind of Selly, so I didn't really like it. This one seems to be pretty good. Got a few cells popping through there though. Which is fine, I don't mind those little ones. They look nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna pull this. I'll try not to put my arm in the way. This paint looks a little runny.
it'll look better once I put the quill down the middle. I'll do a black quill. The last time I did it with a string it came out much better. So I'll dip my end of my string in the black. And I'll just go over it. Just pull this through. There. Oh, I like that. I don't know whether I need to go over it again. I might go over this side again. <clears throat> I think I'd like this side to be a little wider. That's about it. I think I like it. There you go. It's a red and black feather. Good. stop playing with it. All right, that's it. I just need to put a little bit of gold paint here. And I think that's it. All right, thanks for watching. Hold it up a little more again. Come back soon to Carol's Art Room.
or art dining room for now. And uh, please subscribe, hit the like button and the bell for notifications when I do more videos. Okay, thanks for watching. Come back soon. I'll have the dried results at the end. Bye-bye.